This is First Coast News on your side with Heather Crawford and Anthony Austin. And that's about the time she walked away from me. So this is how an Olympic champion unwinds. Caleb Dressel is on a roll. Placing the world record line. The First Coast native son about to become a supernova and only talking to Jeannie Blaylock. Driven, on fire, and talk about muscles. Yeah, all the world is about to fall in love with Caleb Dressel, the swimmer from Green Coast Springs who is smashing world records. I've gotten to know Caleb and his family over the last couple of years, and when I was in Rio at the Olympics, he wasn't famous yet, swimming in the shadow of Michael Phelps. Now, standing atop a pile of championships, he is casting his own shadow. And as he gears up to win more gold at the Olympics in Tokyo, I figured by now, He'd be kind of an ego case, but check this out. I can guarantee okay. you're gonna like this picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Uh, okay. Oh, do we have some yeah, stories to tell you? But first, back to the Olympics in Rio. Wow. Dressel in the middle pool has the slight advantage over Moore's off the big. In Rio, we watched him win two gold medals. Well, and it will be Caleb Dressel. First Olympic race, gold with Michael Phelps. Yes, ma'am, I'm just trying to take it all in. Do you even believe it yet? Not yet, no. <laughs> USA! USA! His family in Rio ecstatic. Oh, Caleb Dressel, the star swimmer from Clay High, with a crazy side, his principal and teachers still chuckling. He brought out bow ties and, uh, <laughs> and scarves and, and boas and, and just, short he was crazy, and short shorts occasionally. We did have to um, call him on dress code a few times. <laughs> but no jokes in the pool. This year at the World Championships in South Korea, he made news around the planet. Caleb Dressel smashes a world record of Michael Phelps. This time, Caleb Dressel gets under it. But listen to this. And when my hands hit the wall, I was already thinking of ways where I could have done that race better. And did this inner drive come from maybe over-obsessive parents? You don't ever remember a time when your mom or dad said, yeah, you really could do a little bit better on that time. No. All right, Pern, go on, get out of here. His dad, a veterinarian in Green Cove Springs. There's Caleb with his older brother, with the chicken. chick, with the chickens. There's Bertha. Caleb's mom. And my mom's very spiritually grounded. One inspiration behind this. I don't pray about winning. I don't ask him, hey, let me get my hand on the wall first. I just thank him for another opportunity to do what I love to do, and that's compete. Three sets of five on 230. We'll take a minute's rest between cycles. Caleb trains at his alma mater, UF, with well-known Olympic coach Greg Troy. He says Caleb is perfecting his stroke. And just watch her. Now, we are talking the tiniest of changes. And sometimes he'll let his hand kind of slide up a little too far, and that motion is ineffective. There he is, starting to take off. Again, and the result, big. Caleb is a half second faster than he was two years ago in key races. He's got about a body length lead on. Which in those events is humongous. And a half a second is uh, he's basically a half a second under Michael Phelps world record. So ponder this, Caleb is only 23 years old now. Coach Troy thinks he can compete in three more Olympics. Plenty of time to challenge the legend of Michael Phelps. <laughs> no doubt his sponsors like Speedo and Toyota believe in Caleb, and that takes us back to this. So Toyota surprised me with the Supra, but I didn't know my whole family was coming down, and my girlfriend brought Jane, my dog, and dressed her up in a Toyota shirt, which was way <laughs> too baggy. But it, it, the photo's adorable. So I shouldn't ask you how fast this goes, right? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the pedal, Caleb. But let it fly in Tokyo. We love our hometown chip. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News, on your side. And with a time of such somber news yeah. as we've had the last several days, it's nice to be able to share stories like this as well. Hey, sure what is. do Olympians eat? That's a curiosity. Mm -hmm. Caleb's favorite food right now, tuna sandwiches. Yeah. And after a hard practice, pizza and wings. You know, it really is cool to see a local guy doing so well. Caleb, of course, part of Clay High and the Bowls Swim Program. So we are cheering you on, Caleb. And we're getting closer to the Olympics in Tokyo, now just 253 days away the opening ceremony.